Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I'm your host, Valgusnari, here with the official release of Brigandine, The Legend of Renersia. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Records of History. This is more of a showcase than a guide, really, but you can at least get an idea of what goals you need to accomplish in order to unlock the Records of History. You can find that from the main title screen at the very bottom, so go ahead and click on Records. We have several different categories here. We have Records, which contain stories, events, pages of history, and battles. Let's go ahead and go one by one. So, under the Records category, we have Stories. It replays the events from the main story. So as you can see, all these are locked, of course, because I haven't gone through anything yet. This is actually pre-recorded before I started my uh, Holy Gustava Empire playthrough. So uh, yeah, all of these are locked right now. So the goals are, of course, start main mode as an Rosalio Kingdom, last two seasons as an Rosalio Kingdom, occupy eight bases as an Rosalio, etc., etc. So you'll see all of these goals within each country. They go all the way down to, I believe, I haven't looked at all of this yet, so forgive me. Uh, there's wipe out one nation as Norzalio. So, you know, if you wipe out Gustava, for example, you um, will unlock this um, main scenario bit here. So going down, we have occupy 33 bases, 37 bases, battle against question marks for the first time as Norzalio Kingdom. So this comes from the main website, right, where we had all the factions listed, right? And at the very bottom of the page, you saw two voice actors that were voice acting two questionable characters that we didn't know uh, who they were at all. So like, this is probably going to be the final boss is my suspicion, but we will see. Keeping it going here, we have Occupy All Bases as the Norzalio Kingdom. I think there are actually 41 castles as there were in Grain Edition. So 37 bases. Um, once you unlock that scenario, I believe at that point, we're gonna get to see what the boss is. Um, after 37 bases and after that the boss may have like really powerful armies at the last four castles for example I don't know where that's going to be probably in the top right hand corner of the world map where people were showcasing that in the discord there's this little there's this big huge cloud or fog of war on top of that map on top of the um, you know northeastern part of the map where you can't see something but there's suspicions that something is there so we're probably going to see that after 37 bases has been taken so that's a goal to look forward to uh all bases again we have four different scenarios for the same goal looks like so i highly suspect we're gonna get to see a ton of storyline as soon as we beat the entire game there's four different scenarios here i don't know if they have to be like unlocked in a different fashion but you would think they would tell you that but anyways uh keeping on going we have invade i'm gonna i'm just gonna call it the boss invade the boss as Norzalio, confront the boss, defeat the boss. There's two unlock scenarios for confront the boss, two scenarios for defeating the boss, um, and that's it. Uh, let's see, any more goals for Norzalio? Last 20 seasons as Norzalio while Gaimul remains, or Gaimul occupies 26 bases. Interesting, that's very specific. Like, that may take a long time to unlock, actually, because if Gaimul does not do well in their campaign, that will be very difficult to unlock. They have to occupy 26 bases while we last for 20 seasons, unless, unless this is challenge mode goals. But then again, it says story, so I have no clue what to make of this. But anyways, I'm not going to go through all of this. This is going to be like goals for every single nation, I can only assume. If we keep on, if we keep on going to the right on the tabs on the top... We can cycle through the nations. So Norzalio's tab is right here. Push the shoulder buttons. We have Guy Mul right here. Uh, here is Shinobi Tribe, Holy Gustava, Mana Silesia, and Morelva. Now the common ones. This is what I'm actually uh, most interested in here. Is in Season 3 of 781, occupy 8 or more bases as Norzalio or 10 or more bases as Morelva. Okay, so these are kind of like challenge goals that you need to try to meet if you can. So um, some of these would be harder than others, obviously, but... Take a look at these missions to see if you can get this in like maybe your first playthrough or uh, if you start with Norzalio for for example. But uh, yeah, some different goals here. Uh, also, after Zenus appears in Deploy Event 113, occupy 35 bases and wipe out Tomasa's nation. Wait a minute. Did they just leak the... Uh... Wait a minute. Did they just leak the, the secret nation after... Dicenis, Dizenis, I don't know how to pronounce that, appears in Deploy Event 113. 
occupy 35 bases, and wipe out Tomasa's nation. Hang on a minute. Is this portraying to maybe uh, challenge mode? I have no idea. Interesting stuff. I'll go into it way later if I find out some more information, but I don't remember seeing uh, Desenis' name. I think I may remember seeing Tomasa's name, uh, but I have no clue. This looks like a different type of nation to me because it says Tomasa's nation. That insinuates that he's the ruler of the nation, so that could be the boss. I don't. I have no clue. So we will we will find out if someone has any more information on that. By all means, hit me up in the comments below. But um, anyways, occurs on the next season after watching deployment event 118. I don't know what deployment events are whatsoever. Like this this seems to be reminiscent of challenge mode, but. It's still underneath story. Maybe challenge mode is connected to the story in some weird way. Um, no clue. Anyway, I think we get the point. So let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, slide here. So, all right, moving down the line here, we have view past conversations between your knights. This is conversation on the battlefield. You know, when you deploy and you have specific conversations between your knights uh, from one nation to the other, then you have secret dialogue. Now, look at the first goal. Rubino and Eliza square off on the battlefield. So that means Rubino has to invade Eliza or vice versa, right? But the two rulers of the country have dialogue with each other if they meet each other on the battlefield. So if you meet each other, then you will unlock this specific dialogue and come back and watch it. So Rubino and Talia square off, another two rulers. Rubino and Rudo uh, and Tim and Stella. It's, it's the whole combination here. So, and I'm assuming they have... Uh, those same goals for, like, uh, Eliza to all the others and Tim to all the others, every single one of those. Um, another random goal here. Grottos and Shizzler are deployed on the same battlefield. That means they will share a dialogue with each other if you put them in the same battlefield together. So, anyways, pretty cool stuff. You can peruse that later. But that's one of the uh, categories, which is sortie. On the top, we're going to go over to recruits. It says, under the recruits category, last 12 seasons as the Norzalio Kingdom. So... Basically, a um, you know a defense type uh, scenario here. So if we uh, can stay within the game for this amount of seasons, we unlock these scenarios. So very basic: run a quest with fewer than four occupied bases while Tomas is not an ally. So as you peruse this, you'll have more simplified goals and more intricate goals. Go ahead and take your time and get through these. I'm not going to go through everything clearly, but just to showcase, this is sort of what you can come to expect when achieving uh, goals in the history so let's go back to the uh, to the first category here pages of history we have view the restored pages of renercia's history this is probably going to be the most um interesting throughout all of these so watch the main mode opening event occupy 24 bases you get a scene occupy 35 bases you get a scene now here's my question though like what happens uh whenever you occupy 35 bases as a different nation it says any nation so there has to be like a a static scene or like a global scene for the entire continent when that happens so it may not be specific to the country or to the nation that you're controlling it may be just story specific for the entire continent so we may see these uh, scenarios multiple times no matter what country you use to achieve those goals so uh, clear the main mode as any nation. Very basic. Occupy seven bases as Norzalio, yada yada. Eleven bases as Republic of Gaimul. Very, very basic stuff, but main scenarios right here. And I can only assume we're going to get very specific scenarios at some point in time throughout this, depending on what country you use. And also unlocking the secret nation. I want to call it a secret nation so bad. I don't know what is, what is to be expected of that, but anyways. Going back here. Um, on the battles. Very, very straightforward. Let's see. View battles by season. You can load your data that you have saved and view battles that you have gone through. So, for example, it says view progress by season from a complete save of file. What it's going to show you is how your domain has progressed as you invade castles throughout the world map. Hopefully that makes sense. So, um, you know, if, for example, if you're playing as Mana Silesia, and it'll show you each individual battle that you took. You took this castle here put this castle here and you'll see the color purple spread all across the map and stuff like that. They did this in a uh, grand edition back in 2000 on the multiplayer where once you completed the multiplayer, um, and even if you completed the main scenario, I believe they showed you like what your progress was. 
whenever you would invade castles one by one. So pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so just load up your save file and take a look. Now, here's another thing I'm noticing. This is Legend of Renersia category, right? Look at the category on the top. It's an alternate chapter. I don't know if this is challenge mode or if this is an actual alternate chapter to the story. Um, like, say, if you beat the game with a certain country and then there's more to be had after you beat the country, beat, beat it with that country. Or if you can, like, beat the game with a certain country, then restart as the same country, but play a different scenario. I, don't, I do not know what to make of this category whatsoever. So pretty exciting stuff. I will go into more detail as, of course, I go through the uh, Let's Play series. So anyways, going on to lists, we have a total of 177 to unlock between knights and monsters. Very basic. As soon as you see one knight, they will be unlocked here in this category. Here is it by country category. This is Norzalio's knights. This is Guy Mool's knights, Kenobi tribe, etc. Now, look over at the right-hand side. We have unaffiliated knights, which is probably straightforward, saying that these are questing knights or freelance knights that you can recruit. But we also have a special category. Now, I can probably assume that Will will qualify as a special knight because you have to meet special conditions in order to recruit Will, right? But it could be something completely different. He may show up here and some other strange category of knights may show up here as the story progresses. I have no clue. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So only seven special knights within the entire game. I'm assuming they can go to any country or whatever, assuming you um, unlock them specifically with those conditions. So as soon as I unlock Will or a certain knight that can only be met by certain conditions, I'll see which category they pop up in, either unaffiliated or special. Anyways, take a breath, Valkos. You're losing your mind. <laughs> Let's go to monsters. Straightforward again. But there is one thing that I want to show, which is another special category in the far right. So here is tier 1 monsters. Here is tier 2 monsters at level 10 to 19. Here is tier 3 monsters at level 20 and up. However, we have special categories. We only have two here. I've only seen uh, two monsters that can class up with, um, what do you want to call it? Special items, yes. So, like, for example, the uh, the Ancient Dragon. You get a Tier 2 Dragon, right, of any color, and then you can class them up with an Eternal Hellfire uh, from a quest, assuming you get it from a quest, and uh, you use that on the dragon, and they become the uh, Ancient Dragon. So, they will either appear here, or they will appear here. On the second one, I'm assuming that's going to be the third tier Lizard Man. I think they're called Lizard Lords in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's like Lizard, High Lizard, and then Lizard Lord. I forget. But uh, and in any case, you need a Champion Medal item to class them up from Tier 2 to Tier 3. However, I'm going to assume there's more monsters that require special items to be unlocked to go to Tier 3. <clears throat> However, I've only seen two. So, I may be completely wrong here. So, we'll see what happens. As soon as I get my first Ancient Dragon or Lizard Lord, I'll see which category they appear in whether tier three or special. All right, uh, moving on, we have the gallery. So this is pretty cool, very much uh, aesthetic and cosmetic is 2D illustrations and music. So right now I, again, have nothing unlocked. I haven't even started playing the game yet. Um, so we have it categorized by country, right? So Norzalio, Gaimul, Shinobi Tribe, Holy Gustava, Mana Silesia, and Morelva. And we also have common uh, 2D illustrations. Now, I'm going to assume this is reserved for all of the knights that are within Norzalio not including um, freelance knights that are uh, joined on the country itself. Uh, same thing for Guy Mole, etc. But in the common area, I can, I can only assume that the 2D illustrations right here will be reserved for monsters. However, it doesn't seem like a lot of 2D illustrations. I may be just looking at it wrong, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to assume that this right here is going to be populated with monster 2D illustrations. So we'll see what happens. All right. And of course, music, very straightforward. As you listen to new tracks like battle themes and stuff like that, country themes on the, on the world map, you will unlock new tunes. So when you go in here, the music completely stops from the main menu and you can select any track that you want to play uh, with the A button and you can select the B button to stop the music. So if I select Beyond Times, this is of course the main theme from the title screen. So boom, wait for it. And there we go. So pretty cool, man. And then you can hit the B button to pause it or stop it rather. So. Uh, we have a total of how many tracks? I'm very curious. My God, there's a ton. <laughs> there's 38 tracks within the game. That is legit. 
that's going to be the amount of tracks that are going to be on your soundtrack if you have pre-ordered the collector's edition. So I'm wondering if they may even release like the, the uh, soundtrack digitally. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, that's, that's wishful thinking. I know I'm getting a physical copy of the soundtrack and I have 38 sweet, sweet tracks to look forward to listening to on the day-to-day basis. But uh, anyways, back to the last category is help. Uh, very self-explanatory. You can go through guides. I've gone through a lot of these categories on stream. Some of my, some of them I have not. So definitely be prepared for me to make use of this menu right here in certain categories that I have not covered yet. So for example, I have not covered in specific detail the elements category. So you go here, for example, it'll tell you all about how the elements work and uh, how they oppose each other and what the weaknesses are, what resistances are, and you know just how they work in general. On the tips, I actually haven't looked at this yet. Let me see. Uh, Legend of Inertia, language and gameplay, bases of mana, very basic stuff here. It looks like they include the demo uh, tutorial in here because I'm noticing it's, it shows the troop move and invasion, which was the first one. Quest was the second. Um, classes was, I think, the third. And the fourth was combat. Maybe that was flip or something like that. Yeah, so we had like troop move and invasion, quests, uh, classes, and combat for the uh, demo tutorial. But as you can see, there's a ton more information that you can look at here. Please, please, if you are a new player, take your time and look at all of this before you start playing the game. If you just go into the game without any guides whatsoever from the, t from the tips or the guide menu whatsoever, you will have a very hard time getting through the game just by wishing for the best. So please, please make use of this before you begin any of your playthroughs. I do want to take a look at one category here just as an example. Let's take a look at... Um, the equipment and items tab real quick so just looking at equipment i'm assuming it gives you a basic rundown on how to gather gear pieces and equip your leaders and your monsters we will see but uh oh i see what it's doing okay so this is showing you like sometimes where it's when, when the game is loading it'll show you these tips on the screen so i thought it was loading right here but no it'll just give you a basic rundown equipment items are split into weapons armor one armor two and four types of accessories which equipment a unit can equip depends on the unit's type and class. So we will definitely go into all of that once we get through more guides and stuff. But uh, very cool. I'll, I am very curious, though, on what this says. Like, is this just a basic uh, storyline overview? Looks like we have tooltips on each country, each nation ruler, uh, the rune god. I kind of want to click on that, actually, here before we quit. Uh, mana, mana showers, mana spring, mana stones, brigandines, rune knights, monsters... This is sick. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me look at Rune God real quick because I've already looked at like um, the bios and stuff of, uh, like that with the uh, the main rulers of the nation. So let's look at the Rune God. The God of Runercia. Most people dwelling in this land follow the Rune God faith. He is said to be the one who showers mana upon the land. So speaking of that, I want to look at mana showers. I haven't seen mana showers before. It refers to the phenomenon where mana falls like sunlight onto the continent by the grace of the rune god. Uh, let's see. Mana is very self-explanatory. You use that to, and, uh, to unlock monsters, but this is more of like a story-based type of thing. A mystic force bestowed upon humans by the rune god. Those who are exposed to mana have great powers unlocked. So, uh, let's see. Mana stones. Mana stones. Hang on. Five stones said to have saved humans from a magical beast long ago. The nations of Norzalio, Gaimul, Shinobi, Mana Silesia, and Morelva each currently possess one. Okay, so that's referring to the Brigandines. So the Brigandines are their armor pieces that they wear, but within those armor pieces lie the mana stones that they collect. So, and of course, as we know uh, from the website and from you know our past discussions, the Holy Gustava Empire does not have on such a luxury. They do not have a Brigandine or a mana stone, so they've been deprived of it throughout history. So, um, Rune Knights, very basic. Brigandines is the armor, right? A special armor or accessory embedded with a mana stone representing the ideologies of various countries. They are named Justice, Sanctity, Freedom, Glory, and Ego. Those five right there. So, very cool. Um, and yeah, that's really all I wanted to look at. So maybe right here, Legend of Renercia, let's see what this says. An ancient tome infused with magical power that details the true history of the continent of Renercia. So the Legend of Renercia is an actual tome. It's a book. So, uh, and it's what, what we're actually looking at right now on the previous screen here. So if we go back, that's the Legend of Renercia tome right there on the screen. Okay, 
This has been a lot of fun going through all of this. I love every single little tidbit that they give you here. I want to complete all of these goals and make sure I 100% everything. I encourage you guys to do the same to milk this game for all that it's worth. And uh, I can't wait to share all of this with you. So please, by all means, uh, share your achievements in the comment sections below any video that I release on Burgundy Legend of Renersia. Going to be awesome, man. Can't wait. Burgundy fans, that was a ton of fun. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode on the guide or showcase, rather, of the records of history. So definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and what your goals are going to be for your first run, maybe even two runs. Let me know your thoughts on the uh, things that I was confused about, like the alternate chapters and like what to expect from the question marks that we saw for like the boss. I'm going to call it the boss because uh, one of the goals said after 37 castles, then uh, the boss appears or something like that. I have no clue what to make of it. So please let me know your thoughts. Please no spoilers in the comment sections at least for a long while, because that will, of course, be showcased on this channel once I get to it. So, anyways, Burgundy fans, thank you so much. I am your host, Valgo Sonari, and I will see you all in the next guide video, Let's Play series, or the Discord server of Brigandine. If you want any more access to Brigandine resources, you can find the wiki page and subreddit page. All that stuff is below in the description. You can also find access to all of my guide videos that I'm going to be released throughout the foreseeable future for beginner, intermediate, and advanced players. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and good luck on your first playthrough. Without any further ado, I will see you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.